Welcome back to the West Ham Network. This is, of course, in association with our good friends over at Knees Up Mother Brown. If you haven't already, go and check them out, KUMB.com. This is your Hammers Headlines for today. I'm Anton, and I'm going to get started straight into it with the first story, and that is that Ben Rama is not a happy chappy. If you did see his altercation with the Algerian manager after a friendly against Egypt, then you would be looking at that and thinking, what is going wrong with the Sayed Ben Rama saga? Now, the West Ham midfielder was substituted in the 63rd minute from his side who were losing and he walked past the manager and what looked like he didn't want to shake the hand of the man who did have his hand out waiting for him and it kind of sparked a little bit of a of a altercation between the two the manager Bill Maddy grabbed Ben Rama by the scuff of his neck maybe just around about here and proceeding to let the player know his feelings and despite the incident, which was an unsavory one, the manager then dismissed the, the situation and blew it back down to earth and said that after the match at the press conference that what happened with Benrama are things, Ben Rama, that are things that are always happen in locker room things. He said he came off, he wasn't happy, and I wasn't happy. That's all. Ben Rama is now on his way back to London to get himself prepared for, of course, the West Ham game against Aston Villa at the weekend. Now, Ben Rama hasn't featured as regularly as hoped. He started the season as the starter, playing the full 90 minutes. And as the season has gone on, he's been used as a starting player, but coming off a lot earlier in the kind of new transformation that David Moyes is doing with this team. He's making a lot of early substitutions. He came on off in the 69th minute against Chelsea, 51st minute against Brighton, 71st minute against Luton, um, came on against Man City for 22 minutes, only played 18 minutes against Sheffield United and 15 minutes against Newcastle. Um, still only one assist this season, no goals yet in the Premier League, but he and will be interesting to see how we utilise Ben Rama moving forward. Do you think there's a lot of unjust criticism for the star or not? Put it in the comments and let me know below. But I have mentioned that we will be taking on Aston Villa this weekend when we come back in to Premier League action. And it looks like Aston Villa may have some injury doubts for the game. Now, they have got several injury issues and they could be without several key players for the game um players like tyrone mings buendia and jacob ramsey are definitely out for this game which is what we did know about moreno hasn't played a single game this season he hasn't even played um he last played in the one all draw against liverpool last season and he picked up um you know, for the matchday squad for Crystal Palace in September. But he also travelled with the Villa squad to face Warsaw, but wasn't used. And so Emery will probably have to use him cautiously as well. Now, Ramsey is struggling badly with his foot injury. He came off the bench and wins against Chelsea and Brighton, but has spent some time on the sidelines yet again. And they're saying and suggesting that he could come back into the mix in the mid of November when Villa travel to face Tottenham for that game. When Dina and Mings are long-term absentees and it's unclear whether they can make or when they will make a return to the first team. Now, Emery has obviously transformed Aston Villa style of play. This will be a tough game, but West Ham will hopefully want to take some form of advantage going into this game. If that means that they're missing some of their best players, then so be it. But hopefully we can do something against Villa. That would be very good. So some early team news ahead of the game against Aston Villa at the weekend. But the last bit of news for you is a great story. Another potential international senior debut coming the way from Michael Forbes. Um, now, West Ham have had plenty of players in action for the respective nation in the current international breaks. Jared Bowen, Kudus, Suchek, Edson Alvarez, just to name a few, have been heavily involved for the national teams in recent days. But another West Ham man who has had plenty of time on the pitch during the current break is 19-year-old Michael Forbes. Now, he has played both left-back and centre-back and played the entirety of the two Northern Ireland under-21 matches against Azerbaijan and Serbia, but the West Ham under-21 man could now go a step further when they take on the senior team, take on Slovenia on this evening. Now, Forbes has yet to make a senior appearance for West Ham, but he could get a call up by the Northern Ireland manager Michael O'Neill for the Euro 2024 qualifier. It comes as there is an injury in the Northern Ireland team to defender Daniel Ballard and a suspension of Paddy McMahon. 
He said, I think, and O'Neill said in his press conference, I think we have enough in the squad without calling anyone up. I think we might have to look to add someone from the under-21 squad if Daniel doesn't make it. Now, the boss will undoubtedly be keen for Ballard, who is a player, keen player to make it. But if he doesn't the door, it will almost certainly be open for Forbes to make the step, step up to the senior team. And if he does make that step up, he'll join West Ham under-21 team, make Callum Marshall in O'Neill's senior squad with the striker coming off the bench in the recent win against San Marino. Very, very good to see the young players making a step up, especially the international scene, and showing that the system at West Ham seems to be working when we're producing the best talent we possibly can. But there you go. There's your short, sharp, sweet, straight to the point Hammers headlines for today, covering three of the best stories we can find for you. Make sure you do go and check out my West Ham Daily earlier on, giving you another transfer update because there's loads coming your way. And keep your eye on the channel over the coming weeks because we've got some more exciting guests coming your way. If you haven't already, go and check out part one and part two of the Joe Cole um, interview that myself and Russ did take part in. So thank you very much for joining us. Take it easy. And of course, come on, you irons. <laughs>